Hello everybody, my name is Mitchell here at eFones and today I want to talk to you about the 5G CPE Pro 2 or in other words the model name which they call the H112-373. So this is now joined our eFones family of routers and it is the newest version of the CPE Pro. If you click back through our videos you will see that we did a, an unboxing video and a couple of videos of the original 5G CPE Pro. This is the second gen model that's come out. I just want to open the box and see what's inside and show you guys and share with you guys. Maybe run through a bit of specs if we find them. So first things first, the, the box and what we see on the box. So you've got Huawei 5G CPE Pro 2. It's got 5 gigs, 3.6 gigabits per second speed. This device has Wi-Fi 6 plus and then it's got, that will give you a, a Wi-Fi speed of 2,976 megabits per second. What else do we have on the box? Well, besides that, obviously on us on the side of a box, we've got the standard IMEI numbers and serial numbers, along with all the regulatory uh, goodies. Just again, one to note there, that is a QR code, which will direct you to Huawei's AI Life app. And that is a very simplistic app to manage your device functions. It doesn't show you all of the device capabilities within that app. If you log on to the web UI through something like a laptop, for example, using the device's IP address, you'll be able to configure a few extra different functions through the web UI on, on the, a laptop, for example. But the brilliant tool to use just as a, a very simplistic app uh, to dial into your router and manage your router functions through it really nice and easy to use not too much around the side of the box more contents on the back of the box over here 5g obviously it's got the latest balong 5000 chipset 5g up to 3.6 gigabits per second download 250 megabits per second upload speed giga home chipset with the wi-fi 6 plus speeds of up to 2,976 megabits per second. As mentioned before, it has a little built-in fan. So a silent fan cooling meets 5G high load continuous use. So uh, briefly from what I know, it does have a very small fan inside the device. I think it runs at about 30 decibels, which apparently is about 10 decibels below environmental noise. So very quiet but it's just to make sure that the device runs and maintains its sort of maximum capability and efficiency. So let's go ahead and look what is inside the box. So I do remember the original 5G CPE, definitely a lot bigger than first glance of this. I'm not too sure by how much, but this is definitely a lot smaller than the uh, the bigger 5GE first generation. Uh, so you've got your quick start guide, your standard quick start guide in the box, plus your warranty card. Let's get that out. A very similar design and look to the first generation model. Uh, we'll come back to that. Let's just see what else is in the box. So in this instance, you've got your UK three pin power adapter and you've got your one white ethernet cable. So that is it for what's inside the box. And if we just come back to the router itself, very similar design to the previous generation. You've got the WPS button, the that H symbol on there, three LEDs, a Wi-Fi LED, followed by your 4G LED indicator and your 5G indicator. And one thing I did notice on the spec sheets is this does only state 4G and 5G compatibility. Haven't caught anything about backwards of that capabilities yet. Makes me think that it is more designed for the 4G, 5G usability. Other than that, very, very similar design to the previous gen, just the biggest difference being a heck of a lot smaller than the first generation. Uh, the other thing that does stand out is, so we've got two LAN ports, one of which is the WAN port, and then at the very top here, we've got your telephone port or your RJ11 port, I believe it is followed by your power port. Straight away notice that on the previous generation, I think that there was a, a little power button on the back, as well as two TS9 ports for an external antenna, if you did want to plug an external antenna in. This does not have uh, any ports for those, any TS9 ports for that external, external antenna, if you did want to upgrade your antenna system. I'd imagine that this has probably got an improved built-in antenna system. And then on the bottom of the device, so going to the bottom of the device, again, most of it is the standard setup. So this unit, like for it very clearly states here, uses the nano SIM. We'll clip open that. And you've got place to insert your nano SIM. This is new. I haven't seen that before. However, this is slightly different to the first generation. 
caught me off guard this. So you've got your reset button, fairly standard. Power button, which I mentioned to you guys before, which was on the back of the first generation model, I think. I need to, I need to dig one of those out. Is now on the bottom of the device. Very interesting there. I'd imagine they probably want to make it just a little bit more of a cleaner look and perhaps just take a little bit more of the busyness or tidy more of the busyness up because that is a very sort of clean, simple design. So if they could, they've moved a lot of that or some of it anyway, to the bottom of the device, obviously with the removal of the TS9 ports as well. Your nano SIM card slot on the very left there, that there to me looks like a USB-C port. I'd be very interested to know what that is for. So that, it, it's got test only just underneath it. And like I said, it looks like a USB-C port, but we'll come back to that in our next video. We'll, we'll, we'll test it. I have, I do have a colleague who has run a speed test on one of these using a 4G SIM card. We ran three tests and we had a, based here in Silverstone, in our head office in Silverstone, we had an average download speed of 180 megabits per second. And so for us, on a, on a, I think it was an EE SIM card, if I'm correct, that, that was pretty impressive because we don't, we don't get those type of speeds. Yeah, older router models that we have had previously. So straight off the cuff there, the technology that's in this little device, a heck of a lot improved to give us that standard rate of 180 megabits per second download rate. I was well impressed with that. So looking forward to, to seeing what more we can do with this device and uh, how much more we can get out of it. And that is it. If you guys have got any, any more questions about the device, please drop us a few comments below. If you want to uh, keep track of it, like and subscribe to our channel here and we'll keep you posted. And like I said, any information you want to know, let us know. We will be doing a couple more videos on these and, and break them down a little bit more and maybe uh, compare them against the first generation spec wise and looks wise. So thank you very much for watching. Take care guys.